Well, ADHD, as most of you will know, is, is a very well-established disorder in childhood. It has been for uh, many years now. I mean, in Europe, we've been treating it since the mid-90s onwards. And it's true that um, less people have been diagnosing and treating ADHD in adults. But of course, we know a lot about ADHD in adults. Um, initially, because people um, followed up children who had ADHD, they followed them through into adulthood. And what they found was very similar uh, types of symptoms and types of impairments in adults to, that, to those that you saw in children. Um, I suppose the other thing we know is that if you take the, um, the symptoms of inattention, on the one hand hyperactivity and impulsivity, on the other, um, and if you use the drug treatments for ADHD, of course you get very strong drug effects. And these are um, um, sort of similar or slightly, um, they are similar to the effect sizes you see in children. Um, and there are at least, um, uh, sometimes people make the comparison with uh, treatments in other psychiatric disorders. And what we know are the effect sizes are at least as good as, say, an antidepressant for depression, for example.